Hello, welcome to the Chess Boxing Podcast. This week is a very special week. We are celebrating the 100th episode of the podcast. So to do that, we've got a special episode. We've got a, a look back at the history of chess boxing via the medium of a little quiz. Enjoy. Uh, this week, we're joined on the podcast once again by uh, London chess boxing founder, Tim Woolgar. Say hello, Tim the Hippo. Hello, Tim the Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the most pleased to be here, guys. Pleased to be here. Thank you. And uh, we've got we've got uh, uh, Mr. Tickle of chess boxing, Matt Crazons Reed. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and uh, it's your host, uh, the Grievous Bodily Farmer. So we've got a bit of a treat for you uh, this week. We're going to do a little quiz, a chess boxing quiz. Um, now, obviously, Tim and Matt are very experienced. They've been involved in chess boxing since it's inauguration in the UK, uh, which was in 2008. What I don't know about chess boxing, basically, is not worth knowing. So I'm feeling confident. I, I love the way you're, you're bigging yourself up in the quiz. I mean, you are a fellow egghead winner. We should mention this at the start. We actually, as a chess boxing That's habit, true. have a degree in the back in about 2013, I'm going to say, we entered a team into eggheads and we managed to, as a team of chess boxers, beat the eggheads and walked away with a nice cash prize. The box. BBC, the BBC quiz show, yeah. yeah, we got, we got to the, we won. Yeah. Well, there you go. Can you believe it? He crushed those eggheads. Can you believe these two eggheads are going to go egg to egg and uh, we'll see who's the biggest egghead? <laughs> we already know who the biggest one is here. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I should also just shout out to um, Richard Morrow, who's our Qatari listener, who's actually actually moved back to Ireland now. But um, I saw Richard at the last show, which was only a few days ago, and he was good enough to send me a few questions. I've put, added a few questions. Um, so... The way the quiz is going to work is we've got six initial questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Tim three questions and Matt three questions. And you get a point for each question of the initial round. OK, that's round one. And then round two, we've got another uh, dra uh, um, tranche of questions that I'm going to ask you, but you then need to text me the answer. OK. I'm going to ask you both the same question okay. in the second round. And then the final round is the penalty shootout. Ooh. Ooh. So the penalty shootout round uh, is I'm going to ask you to name something. And there's a whole list of the, these things. And you have to name them alternatively, alternatively. You can't rename the same thing. And the person who uh, gets it wrong or is un unable to name one of those things loses the penalty shootout yeah. and the other person can continue to name those things uh, and we'll get a point for every single one that they name uh, until they can't think of anymore so the penalty shootout round you could actually make up all of the points you've lost in the initial two rounds potentially it's un it's almost unlimited it sounds amazing it is it so, is amazing and it's going to be amazing this is, a, this is a, bearing in mind this is a podcast this is a podcast here so not, not only people can't see they're relying on listening. So the, the section where we get to do like text our answers in, is that going to be what I would call compelling listening? Well, what I will do is I will read out the answers. Right. Um, well, I just wanted to have a round where you both, because I know what Matt's like. If I don't make this incredibly fair, he will complain. He will say that it's fixed. So I, I did want a round <laughs> where you both have the same questions. Otherwise, I'm just going to get grief for it. Okay. Well, let, let's, uh, let's suck it and see. That's okay, so the first on that. six questions, Tim. Which of the six questions? Yeah, do you okay. want one, two, three? Do you want two, four, and five? Or, you know, pick uh, pick three numbers between one and six. Uh, I, I want one, three, and six. One, three, and six. Okay, here we go. Question one. Chess boxing first appeared in Inky Bilal's comic book, Fouad Aquator. Excellent pronunciation. Thank you. Fouad Aquator was part of which trilogy of comic books? This is for Tim. Oh, man. Good question, though, right? It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, but if it's, uh, the, uh, I don't know, it's gone. I, 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 I pass. Matt, do you know? I don't know that one either. Okay, it's uh, the Nicopole trilogy. 
N I K E. Nick of Paul Trinity. Yeah. Unlucky. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's question yeah. one. Question three, which I believe is what you selected, Tim. So, yeah. what year was the Kung Fu film Mystery of Chess Boxing released? Oh, well, would you want the, the Hong Kong release date, the US <laughs> release date, or the UK the, the release date? According to Wikipedia. Oh, mate. Uh, are you not Googling this, are you? 78. <laughs> 1978. No. 1978. 1979. Ooh. Close, very close. Okay, and then we've got question six. The first professional boxer to compete in chess boxing was Terry Marsh, the fighting fireman. What is his world boxing title, including the awarding body? He's the IBC uh, light welterweight champion. It's really close. He's the IBF. He's IBF. There is no IBF. Way. IBF. Sorry, IBF. Well, IBF. Oh, I was going to say IBF. Tim, that's a disastrous round for you, mate. Oh, you? That's a disastrous round. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's Matt's three questions. Ipa Rubin organised and took part in the first ever chess boxing match. In which month was this? Uh, 2003. November. Tim, do you know the answer? May. It was September. <sighs> Were you at that event, Tim? No, that was in Amsterdam, wasn't it? So, no, I didn't know anything about it then. Okay. Um, okay, Matt, okay. your second question. The, Ro the Robinson brothers first combined chess and boxing together in the 1970s, but where did they do this? In which boxing club? Um, Repton Boys. No, Samuel Montague. No, yes. I know oh. the answer to that one. Okay, well done, Tim. <sighs> to be honest, we've both got Gavin Patterson's boxing record, zero and three by the sounds <laughs> of it, I think. Okay, Matt, you're the last question of the first round. Yep. The Wu Tang Clan made the film Mystery of. Uh, sorry, the Wu Tang Clan made the track Mystery of Chess Boxing, but can you name two band members? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, is it RZA? Oh, that's so easy. Yeah, that's one. And uh, RZA and... Hang on, you've got to pronounce it. Raza? Raza? No, I'm accepting that, that answer. Uh, that's fine. And no, I can't. I can, I, I can, no, I can only do one. Can you steal from me too? Ghostface Killer. Oh, Correct. Oh. So you could have had RZA, GZA, Old Dirty Bastard, Method Man, uh, Ray Watt, Ray Watt. Rec One, Ghostface Killer, Inspector Deck, You God, and Master Killer. Unlucky guys. So, uh, incredibly, you both got zero on the first round. <laughs> Technically, I got one of tips. Okay. So, go for I knew Samuel Montague Boys. I, I knew the Samuel uh, Montague Boys like club for, for, the, for that one. And I, I knew his other question as well, but. Yeah, it's not fair. I, I also do the Nicopole Trilogy. I just couldn't think of it. Um, I should get a point. Give okay. me a point, Gavin. No points. No points. Sorry, you both shit. Right. Next round, round two. So this round, I'm going to ask the same question to both of you, and you have to text me the answer. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, hold on. It's going to be great, right? Yeah. Uh, Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay. For one point, how many ways can you lose a chess boxing bout? Okay. Now I'm going to give you two of the ways because um, just to avoid confusion, two of those ways is resignation, which I'm counting as one, but you can resign to boxing or chess, and disqualification. So you need to give. So you need to count the remaining ways to lose a chess boxing. About and text me the number. Okay. You text me, man? Yep. Okay. On WhatsApp to you. Yeah. It's cheaper when you're in Italy. Okay. Still waiting for Tim. I'm going to have to press uh, you. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. The number is. Uh, uh, 
It depends. It depends. It's a trickle question to answer, but I'm going to give my answer anyway. Okay. So you haven't really <laughs> specified the question very well. So That's just, my answer. just, just for the listeners at home, Tim texted me the answer over Skype, and it just flashed up on the screen, <laughs> so Matt could read that one. But luckily, he's already texted me. So Tim, what did you, what did you guess? What was your number? I, I guess seven. And what seven. did you guess? Seven. The correct answer is eight. Oh, that's good. Correct answer is eight. Okay. Well, now, what are the eight? So, I'm going to give you seven, and then I want you both to guess the last one for a bonus point. You've got to text me the last one, okay? So we've got knockout. Okay, go on, we've got knockout. Technical knockout. Uh huh. Points decision. Checkmate. Time penalty. Resignation disqualification. I've already given you. So that's that's seven. And there's one more way, according to the rules of chess boxing, that you can lose. But that's not the one I've got. We, have we got, we've just had, we, we had time loss yet, because I'm having- Yeah, that. time penalty. Okay, time, um, uh, but, 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 So Tim said retired her, which I, I suppose you could, you could end and you would lose, but that's not what I've got. No, I can't come up with it. Okay, I'll give you a little clue. What happens if there is a tie in the boxing off? So if there's a, a draw on the chess and then there's a, a draw on points in the boxing, what happens then? Oh, there is another round of boxing. Well, of course, on points. According to Wikipedia, it goes. Uh, you're doing. You're going by some uh, a different set of rules, whereby which says the the player with the black pieces wins. Is that what you're going to go with? That is correct. That's the answer I've got. So I'm going to give you one point, Tim. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> well, we, don't, we don't actually, under WCBA guidelines, don't actually employ that rule. We uh, we go one more round of boxing where there not? needs to be a result. Or not? <laughs> Do you want your point or not? Okay. I want the point. Yeah. Right, let's go. I want the so, point. So, Tim, when you when you text me, you're going to have to WhatsApp me. If you if you send me the answer on Skype. Matt will see the answer, just so you understand. I see, I see, I see, I got it. Okay. Heaven is Saturday night at chess boxing, according to Chris Levy and Max Gershfield. What is the name of the Black Mirror episode, which features the same track, Heaven is a Place on Earth, as its exit music? So on the Black Mirror episode, that features the track, Heaven is a Place on Earth, <laughs> okay, Tim, have you got an answer? Okay, so Tim's answer is my robot stood on a bee. <laughs> Matt says he's never watched it. The right answer is uh, Sam Junipero. Okay, that was okay. Yeah, no, I don't know that. No. I'm not. A, I'm not a geek or a nerd. Okay, here's what he's up again. According to the chess boxing database, chessboxing.info, what is your record against each other? So Tim, you text me your record against Matt. Matt, you text me your record against Tim. So just a reminder, listeners, uh, we, the score is one nil to Tim Morgar at the moment. Matt has yet to get off the mark. Okay, so Matt's texted me, it's not come through yet. You text me, Matt? Yep. What, you, I don't want you looking at the oh, chess sorry. database, come on. I wasn't, I mean, I just, you just sent it to the FBI. Is he cheating? Is he looking at my answer? Um, no, I'm not. I can see it fine, don't worry. I, I've just, um... Okay, Matt's text me, you need to text me, Tim, please. I'm gonna have to... I did it. It's me, it's me, it's just me. Oh, okay. So, Tim is, is quite uh, ambitious in terms of the number of times you fought. You said... Well, the thing is that the chess boxing database is missing at least one Tim Woolgar Matt Reed fight for death. So Tim thinks eight, eight fights and he's and Matt won all of them. Matt says three fights and he's won all of them. The correct answer, 
according to the database, is four fights and Matt has won all of them. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's Matt was close. Okay. Pretty sure you haven't had eight fights, Tim, but I could be wrong. We lived together for a bit, so yeah. actually, there probably was at least eight fights. Um, okay, next question. Now, you, one of you will definitely get a point here because it, you need to text me the closest, I will accept the closest answer, okay? How many chess okay, got it. How many chess, according to the chess boxing database, chess boxing info, how many chess boxing events have been held in London? That's it? Yep. The uh, what I guess? So just guess, the closest answer wins. Okay, so, my answer. so Matt Reed says 37. Uh, Tim has said, what's Tim said? 65. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt wins this one. The correct answer is uh, 43. Okay. Is that right? Okay. That sounds yeah, about right. That sounds about right. Okay. So that's one all. You're, you're, you're neck and neck now, going into the final round. Um, so we've got a couple more questions, then we're going to go into the clues out. Right. Name the first female chess boxers. So you get a point for, for both names. And you also get a bonus point if you correctly name the year that they fought. So Tim should have a bit of an advantage on this if he organised it. The first ever female says Kath something and uh, Kathy and I'm gonna need a full name. Uh, Sandra, Sarah, Kathy and Sarah, Kathy <laughs> Let Let Letterman, Kathy something Kitty with L. I mean it's not really fair because they're, they're one and only foray into chess boxing. They basically came, did that one fight, and then went home. We never saw them again. But Kathy Let and Kathy, L I don't know. Give up. Okay, you're close. Sandra, Sandra, Kathy and Sandra. Can you text me the gear, Tim? That it happened. Text you the year. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that, yeah. I think I've got horribly right here. I've got a completely different name. And considering you booked that fight, you should know. Okay, so the year that Matt guessed is 2012. The year that Tim guessed is 2011. And the correct answer is 2011. Well done, Timmy. Well done, Tim. Yes. There we go. So Tim is now in the lead with two points. Okay, we've got one more question before we go into the the, uh, the sudden death penalty shootout. What were their names? Oh, sorry. Apologies. Emma Richardson and Kath Richardson. Kath Richardson. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. Well, so and this one uh, is the closest guess as well. So you'll one of you will definitely get a point on this one. Is this a text one or a call it out? It's a text one, the final text one before we go into the penalty shootout. Jonathan Arnold okay. hit headlines in 2017 when he fought Liberal Democrat Toby Sloby White in London Chess Boxing's Brexit belt, losing by technical knockout in the first round of boxing. He then went on to work for Scunthorpe Hospital Radio, providing commentary on Scunthorpe United games. <coughs> the question is. When Arnott ran in 2005 for the general election for Sheffield Art Artcliffe constituency, what percentage of the vote did he achieve? Closest percentage wins. You can do it to what? Uh, one which, what election was he running in? <laughs> Sorry? 2005. What was... 2005? Yeah. And what was the, what was the post he was going for? Sheffield Artcliffe constituency. MP by the sounds of it. Yes, sorry, he's going so for he an MP. He was going for an M as an MP position. General, uh, general election, so in Parliament, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll, um... I'll give you both a clue. He lost his deposit. So text me the closest okay, answer. As a percentage, as a percentage of the vote, uh, okay, he lost his deposit, so that's not good. Uh, okay, well, I'll go. I, I, I've, I've made my guess. Okay. So the correct answer was 4.6%. Okay. 
Oh, he just lost his deposit. Matt Reed, you mm. get 1.2 percent. Yep. Tim. Tim gets three percent. That means Tim's got three points. Going into the last round, Tim is in the lead with three points. Matt Reed is uh, pulling up the rear at one point. I'm losing the will to live. <laughs> losing the will to live. As well as this quiz. Okay. So now we go to the penalty shootout round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to name, to, to list as many of something as possible. And as uh, Matt is losing, he's going to go first in the penalty shootout. Okay? okay. So right. name, uh, and then Tim will go second. So name as many chess boxes as you can, which have the letter W in either their first name, their last name, or their ring title. The letter W. So Matt, you go first. <laughs> you guys get well, at least one, given who's on Nick, the is it, is it time? Stop. Nick the showstopper corner. Nick the showstopper corner, correct. Tim, you're up next. Your penalty. Oh, i got to say one of them. Tim Woolgar. Correct. Aaron Sweet Machine Sweeney. E Sweeney Machine, but I'll, I'll accept it. Yeah, Tim, sweet machine, sweet. You said sweet machine. Oh, sorry. 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 Yep. Yeah, so that's yeah. Two one to Matt. Uh, um. Gonna have to press you, Tim. Come on. I I, 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 I was just trying to remember his name, but it was uh, the Jawbreaker. The, uh, oh, I've got that one. Thank you. No, 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 no. So what's his, what, what was the name, Tim? Okay, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you thirty seconds. It was Wolfram von von Helsing. I don't know the word Jawbreaker. German guy. He was he was named after the uh, Operation Valkyrie bloke. But I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about yeah, it the other yeah, day. Yeah. The name you've got ten seconds. Yeah, it's like it was like it was made in like von Stauffenberg or something. Von Stauffenberg, that was it. Yeah, Wolfram okay. Wolfram von Stauffenberg. But Wolfram von Stauffenberg. Matt, you really gave him the. Um, that that okay. penalty. Where? Uh, Andrew, I'll give you that. But I, I wasn't going to get there. I'm sorry. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I lose a point. I move on. Tim, your go. Andrew McGregor. Andrew McGregor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I, I, I can see. It's hopeless. I can't remember any of their names. <laughs> you can see. Okay. They all meant so much to you over the years. It's like the women you've slept with. Uh, can we go with Andrew the Rock Costello? Okay, so so now Matt is two in the lead. No. Shootout, which means he's drawing with Tim. If you can name one more, Andrew the Pawn Slayer Smith. Though. There you go. So I'm very pleased to announce that the 2022 chess boxing quiz goes to a Matt Reed. There we go, Matt. Well done. Congratulations, Tim. Congratulations, Matt. Well, well deserved. You did really good. Uh, well done. You are going to cherish it. It was hard fought. And uh, yeah, Tim, you need to brush up on your names. I mean, there was about 30 names you could have picked there. I felt like you threw in the towel a bit easily. How'd you you know what? It was just so hard. The letter, for some reason, I've got, I had a complete mental blank on the letter W. Why couldn't you have picked a different letter? <laughs> well, that's, that's the I mean, it, there's, there's, a, there's about five or six chess boxes just called Andrew, for example. But I could, I'm such an egoist. My own name comes to me and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I can't think of anyone else with the W in their name. I think that's what it is. Yeah, maybe you're right. <sighs> OK, well, thanks very much uh, for being on the quiz, guys. Well done, Matt. Congratulations, Tim. Uh, do you want to give us a hippo before we go, Tim? Thanks. thanks for the quiz. It was fun. My pleasure. My pleasure. And thanks to uh, Richard uh, Moro from Qatar for providing some of the questions. Thank you very much, Richard. Cool. So uh, our next show and is on. Have, have a great time at, uh, at the show. I hope it goes well. Um, you know, um, and forge, that uh, we forge uh, 
ever stronger bonds with our European just boxing brethren. Absolutely. Shout out to Volfango and all the uh, the guys on the Italian uh, side of the pond. Matt and I are very much looking forward to the show tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much, Tim. Can we get Hippo to sign off? Again? Really? Okay. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Matt Reed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to get your tickets at chessboxingnation.com. Bye!